Hey guys, it's PC Cool Kid, and today I'm going to show you how to make a watermark like you see in the bottom right hand corner of my video. Um, first thing that you're going to need is Adobe Fireworks CS3. Um, you can download the demo if you need to, or you could just all out buy it. Um, I have the full version, and um, once you open it up, you are going to create a new PNG Fireworks document. You're going to make width and height 88 pixels. Remember that, both of them. Resolution stays the same at 72. And canvas color has to be transparent. It can't be anything else. Uh, click OK. And now you have this little grid. That means that's transparent. So that's always a good thing. you got to go to your vector and you're going to uh, select the ellipse tool. And you're just going to make a uh, circle. And, uh... So, now what you're going to do is you're going to select a gradient of your choice. Um, I'll probably just do uh, ellipse. And here you can select the colors that you want. Um, I think I'll do red and black. Like that. There we go. Um, so, you're pretty much halfway done. It's really easy. Um, now you got to select a border. Just do a regular white border and make the uh, width right around 6. And uh, then make the opacity drop that down to about 80. 80 should do uh, just fine. And now that's, uh, that's opacitized, if that's even a word. Okay, so now all we gotta do is add text. How, we do, how do we do that? You click on your text tool. You select a part that you want. Um, you can click on whatever you want. Um, I'm just gonna use this one that I downloaded. Capture it um, and type in, you know, uh, what you want. I'm just gonna do PC, and you're gonna adjust it by clicking on your pointer tool and putting it uh, wherever you need to. Okay, so uh, that looks that looks okay. Um, so there's pretty much your uh, your watermark. You can uh, adjust different things. You can do a bunch of stuff to it. Um, I'll let you figure that part out um, because I don't know what you want to do with it. So there's how I would use mine. And then you just go to File, uh, Save As. I'll save it to my desktop. Uh, just keep it untitled. Save. Let's close this out. All right here it is. Uh, Grab it, grab it. Alright, there we go. Untitled one. Let's open it. Hey, that doesn't look half bad. Actually, I might use that. Um, so, there you go. There's uh, your first simple watermark. Uh, nothing too hard. I think that was pretty easy. Um, I'll show you how to use it uh, in my next Cam Studio review slash tutorial uh, video. Um, but until then, thanks guys. Bye.